People on the internet will do a lot of things for clout, and I mean a lot of things. But this situation right here, this situation might be one of the stupidest ideas to get clout I've ever seen in my life. Have you guys ever been a part of a situation or been in a situation yourself where something happens and really the only reaction you can have is to sit there and just scratch your head and kind of just stare blankly into wherever? Well, this situation right here is exactly how I felt as soon as I saw it because I was just absolutely blown away with what people will do to get views and or stay relevant on YouTube or any sort of social media platform. When I say this, and I mean this 100%, clout is 100% a drug. It's addicting, people crave it, people want it, people live for it, and I'm convinced at this point that clout could be considered a drug, especially with what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Now in today's video, you guys can obviously tell from the title that I'm going to be talking about a particular YouTuber that a lot of you guys have probably heard of because he was in the 2K community. He's not really in the 2K community much anymore, he mainly just plays Fortnite, but he was in the 2K community for a long time. Not a long time, but for, you know, a certain amount of time. And he goes by the name of Neon, I don't know why I just stuttered there, goes by the name of Neon, aka Ronnie 2K Sun. So you guys probably know this guy from his pretty toxic live streams, his pretty toxic videos. That's kind of how he branded himself was to be this extremely toxic kid that goes on 2K and says some pretty interesting things. Now there's been some accusations against this guy in the past about him faking everything, him being racist. There's been a lot of accusations towards this kid uh, in the past. And I just want to let you guys know that I'm not here to, you know, bring down another kid. Obviously I'm older. Um, but I'm not here to, you know, bring this kid down. He's obviously doing well with himself over 200,000 subscribers on YouTube and he's very, very young. So he's doing very well for himself and he understood what his content was up until this last little stunt that happened in the past week or so. So Neon, AKA Ronnie's 2K son uploaded a series of videos. Now this series of videos originally started out with Neon is dying. And in the picture here, I'll show it on your screen. If you guys have some sort of a brain, you guys can tell that this is obviously photoshopped, right? So the, it's obviously photoshopped. You can tell that that's not actually him. It's a picture. This is even the weirdest part. He took a picture from the internet of someone actually in the hospital. And then he photoshopped his own face on it to try to get people that he was actually in the hospital. Now, I'm going to be honest here. I don't really know if this kid understands what this is doing like i don't think he understands the severity of going on the internet with hundreds of thousands of subscribers and lying to them and telling them that you're dying now this actually got a lot of coverage and was covered by another big youtuber by the name of jt he covered it too and called him out for faking his death now after neon uploaded this one video which was the neons dying he uploaded a bunch of other videos there were two others that followed it was called neon's final words and he's gone rip so he literally got his little brother to sit on camera and tell everyone that his brother is dead okay and i i don't even like i don't even feel like i'm talking about a real situation here like i feel like this is a joke at this point like it has to be a joke there's no way that he sat there and thought that this was a smart thing to do for his youtube channel because stuff like this is career breaking this is something that you can ruin your entire career off of because you're lying about dying to people who are subscribed to your youtube channel and i'm gonna be honest i think that this kid this neon guy ronnie 2k son thought that this was a joke i don't think he was gonna think that it was gonna turn out like this i thought he didn't think of it too much and whoever's on his team or whatever's going on i don't know if he has a team because he's so young or people that are like in his circle whoever sat there and told this guy that this was a good idea you guys are the worst possible friends i ever seen in my life how are you gonna sit there and tell one of your friends because obviously he talked about this with someone and someone was like yeah this is a good idea to fake your death you guys are terrible and neon if you're watching this video you got to get yourself a new team and you need to reevaluate yourself because this is this is way too far man so he uploaded neon's final words and then he's gone rip as i mentioned where he had his brother sit in front of a camera and cry basically saying that his older brother was dead and then after that he uploaded another video titled i'm alive 
What a shocker. Wow, I'm so surprised that you're actually alive and you didn't fake your death for YouTube clout. Now, in this video, it gets even worse. I'm going to show you guys this clip, okay? And this is going to be absolutely insane what this kid actually says. This kid says that he has a brain tumor in his head and that he had surgery. But in the video, the guy has a full set of hair. There's no markings of anything. So he just straight up lied. I'm going to go ahead and show the clip for you guys so you guys can sit here and watch this and just be blown away. I'm alive. For everyone who doesn't know what's been happening this past week, past two weeks, I'm going to explain everything here. So it all started when I had a tumor in my head. I was going to get surgery on it. I got surgery on it. And the options when I took got the surgery was either I was going to bleed out to death. I was going to survive. It was like a 50-50. So it was just a really emotional time and I, I wasn't posting any videos or anything. So the surgery was two days ago. I've been resting, relaxing the past two days. And so far the surgery has been a success we don't know if the tumor is fully out of my brain like the reports haven't come in yet but i'm hoping that it has and i'm free and then i can go back to my normal life my normal videos but i didn't bleed out i'm here i'm alive today i'm just so thankful to everyone who's praying for me and for everyone who's calling this fake and stuff this is not something to joke around about this type of stuff is not something that you need to joke around about like i'm actually serious i'm not toxic or anything right now i'm not even going to watch the rest of this video because i personally don't want to watch it and i know you guys don't want to watch it because literally everything this kid is saying in this video is all not true and what he's saying is all hypocritical he sat there for two minutes and talked about how you know faking something like this is something that someone should never do and that it's extremely serious and then he talked about how he had brain surgery and yet his head is fully intact there's no sort of operation on his head all of his hair is there and if you guys know if something extreme as a brain tumor that is pretty serious i mean people die from that stuff all the time and it's definitely not something to joke about but if he wasn't joking about it and he actually had operation there would be some sorts of sign that he had an ap actual operation on himself and i feel like that's something that's very important to show your subscribers when you're claiming that you actually died like i, I can't even take this situation seriously like i i, I just it's obviously not funny. It's funny the fact that he thought that people were going to believe that he actually died. And he thought that this was actually okay to fake his death on the internet for YouTube clout. Now, it gets even worse. After he uploaded that video, he uploaded another video, which was yesterday after all this blew up and people started realizing that this was entirely fake. He uploaded a video titled, I Got Exposed. And this is where... The situation just makes him look so much worse so he obviously knows that he lied about it he's basically admitting it with the title and then in the video i'm not kidding you in the video he says nothing about getting exposed he says nothing about faking his death he doesn't come out and apologize he doesn't come out and acknowledge it i mean he's basically acknowledging it in his title but he doesn't actually come out and acknowledge the fact that he faked his faked his death and lied about it to subscribers he does not come out about it and say you know what i apologize i'm sorry for my actions it's literally just a video of him playing fortnite and screaming essentially at the top of his lungs it was one of the most weirdest things i've ever seen in my entire life your career because i'm going to call it a career because you have over 200,000 subscribers i know you're young but neon your career is going to take a huge hit people are not going to forget about this people are going to remember the fact that you are now a person who lied about having a brain tumor and faked dying on the internet for clout that is literally what you did and i understand you're young and i don't agree with what you did but i think the best possible scenario here if you know you had someone who knew what they were doing on your team and actually had some common sense to talk to you I think the best approach here would be for you to come out and admit that you lied about dying and that you were, you know, you're, you apologized for it. You're obviously still going to get hated on, but I think some sort of damage control should probably be in place here because this is a very, very bad look for you. But anyways, that's going to bring the video to an end. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. We are not very close to 100k but we're almost there we're at 60,000 subscribers and you know if you guys sub we'll be closer to 100k so if you guys could subscribe to the channel i would appreciate it a lot thank you guys very much for watching the video i'll see you guys next time and
I'm just kidding. I'm not. I'm not gonna say peace again. Like I'm fooling you guys with these. All right, peace.